Congressional Republicans are lining up to oppose the creation of a commission to investigate the deadly capital chaos that we saw just four months ago in Washington, D.C. Now, there was a bipartisan compromise, but it could be falling apart after comments from former President Trump. Kimberly Gill, following this story from the newsroom. Kim? Hi, Karen. Good afternoon. Many Americans will never forget the images from January 6th when protesters stormed the U.S. Capitol as lawmakers were trying to certify the results of the 2020 presidential election. Leaders of the House Committee on Homeland Security, Democrat and Republican, had reached a deal to go forward with a 9-11 style commission. The ranking Republican said it was about facts, not partisan politics. But Republican House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy announced his opposition yesterday. Then former President Trump urged Republicans to vote against the idea, calling it a, quote, democratic trap. Today, Republican Senator Mitch McConnell says he's against the idea because it's not clear what it would accomplish. The facts have come out and they'll continue to come out. What is clear is that House Democrats have handled this proposal in partisan bad faith going right back to the beginning. Getting at the truth is more important now that some Republicans are trying to rewrite history. It's just incredible what they are doing. How much, how dishonest can they be in abject fear of the most dishonest president who's ever sat at the White House? Chuck Schumer says there will be a vote in the Senate, but McConnell's opposition is likely to peel away Republican votes. The Democrat-controlled House is expected to vote on the bill today. In fact, they're debating it right now at this hour. We will, of course, keep you posted. Karen, until then, we'll send it back to you. All right. Thank you, Kim. Sure.